This is the first challenge problem. And this is a problem that I don't necessarily expect you to be able to get right with the knowledge you have. But I think it's a pretty interesting problem, so if you want to challenge yourself, go ahead and take a shot. It's completely optional. Now, I want you to go to a sink or a bathroom or somewhere where you have access to a water faucet. Turn that faucet on. Take a look at the water as it falls down. You'll notice that it doesn't look like this, as you might expect. In reality, the water tapers off. It gets thinner and thinner as it falls. So after it's fallen a distance y, the initial radius, big R, has reduced to this small r. The question here, can we find a mathematical equation that represents the radius of this column of water as a function of y? There's a couple key insights to make here. And first is that the water passing through an imaginary hoop does so at a constant rate. And that is totally confusing if I don't explain it more. What I mean is if I drew an imaginary ring here and an imaginary ring here and let the water pass through both of them, if one liter of water is passing through this ring every minute, then one liter must be passing through this ring too. None of the water is splashing off to the side. It's not building up in the middle. So it must be the case that the water flow rate is constant. You can also show that this flow rate, well, it's equal to the velocity of the water through a given ring times the area, the cross-sectional area, of the water at that point. So that would be pi r squared. Third, we have to assume that the water, when it leaves the faucet, already has some velocity. It's moving downwards at v0. So what I want you to do is to write an equation for the radius of this water as a function of how far it's fallen, y, in terms of y, this initial velocity, and g, the acceleration on Earth which is 10 meters per second squared. This question won't be graded because it's a challenge question, but when you get your answer, you should share it with your classmates in the forums and talk about it. I think this is really an interesting problem.